What's up guys, Glenn from Hustler Hacks here. Usually today's Jersey Finds of the Week, it is Wednesday. But I wanted to talk to you guys about why I'm not going to be selling jerseys on eBay anymore. So, do you get lowball offers and buyers don't pay? Are the fees getting higher? Is this free shipping thing getting ridiculous? Yeah, maybe, probably. But that's not really the main reason why I'm not going to be selling on eBay. I want to sell my vintage NBA gear, jerseys, etc. because I have a passion for it. As you guys probably saw in my other videos, I mean, I do jersey finds every single week. And a lot of these jerseys aren't just, you know, things that I find at the thrift store. Um, some of it is my personal collection, things I've had for a long time. And I really just want to build my own business. This Friday, uh, and my website's going to go live. It's dynastyhoops.net. And I'm going to be selling a lot of my old school jerseys, vintage jerseys. Much like other sellers out there, Mr. Throwback, he's in New York. Uh, round two and rare vintage you know these guys have a passion for what they sell and and they have they're doing their own thing they're not just relying on eBay sales and just you know repeating the system over and over again you find something you put it on find something put it on they actually have a passion for this stuff and that's really why I'm building my own website I also want to build a following where I can give them extra just little things here and there they might get like a pack of NBA cards from back in the day to get Jordan or Elijah on or something in there. If you buy like, you know, Grant Hill, this beautiful Grant Hill jersey, I might just throw in a Grant Hill starting lineup. You know, just different things that I loved when I was a little kid. I recorded a bunch of games on VHS and I would just watch them over and over and over again. You know, Sonic's Bulls, uh, NBA Finals or Magic uh, Rockets NBA Finals and it's just something that I love and I just wanted to kind of show you guys too a little bit of my collection and this is like nowhere near any of the jerseys that I'm going to be selling this is like a small part but you know I'm going to be going to different like shoe conventions and shoe events and to uh, sell my jerseys hopefully get to meet people talk about NBA uh, show them some of the cool uh, vintage stuff that I have and you know sell it to other people that that love to collect Jerseys and other NBA gear. So some of my favorites are like Tony Delk Charlotte Hornets and Double zero right there great condition and he played for uh, the Kentucky Wildcats and then he went to the Hornets and Me and my cousin Aaron we used to you know draw our own NBA cards and we just loved you know like the Iverson, Kobe, uh, Nash, Camby, Ray Allen, that whole draft class. We just kind of did our own thing. Uh, Jason Kidd, Mavericks, rookie. Uh, Sean Kemp, this one's pretty nice. Old school Sonics. Even Larry Bird, this one is really tough to find. Larry Bird Celtics champion jersey. Uh, we even got Barkley in there. Uh, Dan Marley is even in there. It's a nice jersey right there. And you saw Grant Hill, um, Reggie Miller, nice jersey. And even like BJ Armstrong, like, you know, that's a tough find. BJ Armstrong, uh, Jordan with the 45, don't really find these all the time. And here we go, Patrick Ewing, another great jersey. So that's what I'm looking to do. I'm not gonna completely not sell on eBay anymore. That would just be ridiculous. I'm just not going to sell some of the other jerseys that, you know, may not be in the greatest condition or the newer jerseys that I find that, you know, I wouldn't mind just selling it and, it and it's fine. I can make some money off of it on eBay and it is what it is. But for some of these jerseys that I love, I do my own thing and build up my own brand. And I know a lot of you guys that do watch my videos and all the other videos, you guys are entrepreneurs yourselves and you guys want to do your own thing. And I love hearing everybody's story on, on what they love to do. Um, you know, I, I worked full time in the office, sitting there, working for other people, um, you know, not doing what I loved. And it's completely different now selling online or doing things you love because you have that free time, you have that, you know, extra motivation too. I've been working hard on this website, trying to get it out there and and you know, it's it's gonna be really cool when it comes out. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. And um, you know, I'm still gonna be doing Jersey Finds, but 
I'm really happy to get this out and really do my own thing. So thanks guys for watching. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. Go out and do your own thing.